Okay, so this is some pretty neat stuff in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Uh, we now actually have access to the library of custom appearances that comes from Luxology. Luxology is the company that uh, is behind the rendering engine in PhotoView 360. So this is some pretty neat stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here is how you can uh, access the, that library, how to get those files, and make use of them in SOLIDWORKS. So the very first step is going to be to have a place on our computer here where we can use these files. So we're going to go to uh, Options, so either Tools and Options, or click here on the Options button. And then in there we're going to go to um, uh, File Locations, and then under the drop-down, looking for Custom and Appearance. And then we're just going to create a folder here. Now I'm going to put it in my, uh, my Documents, because that's a nice safe location. I don't have to worry if SOLIDWORKS gets reinstalled that anything's going to disappear on me. So we'll just give this a name, Custom Appearances, very creative and uh, we'll just apply it here and uh, once I uh, apply this folder location notice when I go over to appearances in the task pane I see that custom appearance folder shows up in blue and that's where I'm going to put these appearances now the appearances I get those through the customer portal account so here I go under downloads and photo view 360 appearances and here it'll take me to a link to the Luxology SOLIDWORKS asset sharing location. And so now these assets, they're only available to those with a subscription to uh, SOLIDWORKS. So this is a kind of a special agreement with uh, Luxology that uh, SOLIDWORKS subscription uh, users are able to access this library. Otherwise you would have to pay to get access to the uh, Luxology library. So this is a nice little bonus to being on subscription. So here I want to just click on Take Me to the Assets, and that's going to take me into the Luxology Assets site. Now you'll notice here that um, the, the appearances, they're not called appearances in this site, they're called materials. And I have a list of them here, and um, they're actually going to be downloaded as uh, LXP files. It's a special file type that is used for, uh, for Luxology, but uh, now SOLIDWORKS will be able to read that file type. So let's uh, take a look through this library. We'll just click on materials and um, we can just get in, actually we can get in um, right here through, uh, through this list of materials and you'll notice that there's a, even a set of categories here so we can see there's, there's all kinds of things here. There's fur, glass, lights, plastic and if we want we can search. So I'm looking for some stuff for my wine scene here. So I'm going to grab this nice green wine bottle appearance. So I'm going to download that, and uh, notice it's downloading as a zip file. I'm just going to go back, I'm going to grab that red wine, so notice there's a few notes about it, and again we'll download, and it's coming down as a zip file. And the last thing I'm going to get, I'm going to see if I can't get uh, a nice cork for the end of my wine bottle. And there we go, I'm going to download that, and uh, we're going to use that in our scene as well. So now, as I said, these are downloading as zip files. So there they are in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to pop into that zip file, and I'm looking for that uh, that LXP file. And that's all I really need. So all I'm going to do is just uh, copy it right out of the zip folder, and I'm going to put it in my custom appearances folder. So I'll just paste it there. I'll do that for all three. And now once I've done that, if I click on that custom appearance folder, I see that all three are available to me right there. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to start applying them in my scene. So I'll just apply them right to the body here. But notice when I apply it, I get this message. And uh, it's telling me that um, my, my Moto material asset is going to look significantly different from uh, in, in the SOLIDWORKS environment compared to once it's rendered. And I see that when I uh, click OK, I look at it, it didn't really change the appearance. It doesn't look like green glass to me. But once I render it, it's going to look pretty awesome. So let's just apply a couple more of these. And we're going to see actually right away, I'm going to launch the, uh, the preview window here as soon as I've got all my appearances applied. And immediately, you're going to see that the appearances start looking the way that they're supposed to. And that looks great. And now if I look at my final output, what my final file looks like, there's the appearances exactly the way I want them. 
They look pretty amazing actually. So that's a great resource that's available to anyone who's doing any 3D, uh, uh, sorry, uh, PhotoU 360 rendering. They can now make use of this great library from Luxology.